In this video, I'm going to solder together the intro to Arduino Shield. To do that, I start by putting a small amount of solder on one side of each resistor pad set, like this. Then I open the resistor package, which are these tiny, these tiny little packages. And I set it on the table. And there should be one that's labeled 103. And that stands for 10 kilo ohms. And that one goes on the resistor pad labeled RLDR. And by remelting the solder while holding the resistor in place, we can get a good contact. Then you can go ahead and you can solder the other side of that resistor. And next I do the three resistors for the LED. Because these are resistors, it doesn't matter which side of the resistors up or is up. There's no orientation. But I prefer to put the number side up because then if I need to change the size of the resistor later, I know what size I already have on there. And when soldering surface mount components, it's really important to have the maximum contact that you can with the table. So you want to be resting your wrist or the side of your hand on the table when you solder. And that way you don't wiggle around your tip too much. And I'm just going to check that to make sure that each one has a good contact. I'm going to touch up these a little bit because they don't look great. Okay. Now they look good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solder on this LED. And I cut the LED leads at about this length. And the square part is up here. The flattened part of the LED is there. You want to make sure that there's enough that it can stick out a little bit through the PCB. So we go ahead, chop it off. And then we put it on the silk screen side in this square pin. So if you look at this carefully, you can see that these are all rounded except one is square. And this side of the silk screen is a little bit flatter. And that corresponds to the flat side on the LED. So we stick it through the holes. And you need to have about, 
you know, a little bit of space. So maybe twice the thickness of the PCB sticking out of the board. And then we flip it over and we just carefully solder one of those pins. And if we look at it, it's not perfectly flat on there. So we can fix that by holding it, remelting the solder, and it'll pop right into place. And now that we have one pin soldered, we can go ahead and we can solder the rest of them easily. I usually start with the outside one, just because then we don't accidentally melt the one that's actually holding it in. So those all look like they're contacted. Okay, and the next thing to do is the button. And just like with the surface mount resistors, we add a little bit of solder to the pad any of the pads. And there's no orientation with this button either, so we don't have to worry about accidentally messing things up. And then we hold it in place and we melt the pretend pad. And I did a bad job there. That's okay. Then we check that we like the alignment and we go ahead and solder the rest of the pads. touch this up. And sometimes it's difficult to see with my camera gear in the way. And if you notice, when I put this button together, or put on the button, I accidentally closed up this hole. So we need to open that back up, and we do that by melting this and hitting it on the table. We melt it again, hit it on the table, melt it again, hit it on the table, and the hole is more or less cleared. If I need it more cleared later, I can go back and do that. Actually, now it's closed again. Okay, now it's open. Okay, the next thing to do is to solder on the pin headers. And I just go ahead and measure it by sticking it in and then chopping it off, sticking it in, clipping it off. And just like with the LED, I start by only soldering one pin, usually the square one, but it doesn't actually matter which one you solder first. 
on both sides. And then I check to make sure that this is a right angle. And being careful not to use or not to touch the pin that actually has solder on it because that one gets quite hot, but only these pins. I remelt it and orient it better so that it's at a 90 degree angle. And this one also has a slightly bad angle. So being careful not to touch the pin that I'm melting the solder on, I just go ahead and I melt the solder again, make sure it's at a right angle, and then I can go ahead and solder all the other pins. Okay, then we check that we did a good job with all the pins and a couple of them aren't well soldered. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. And now for the LDR, which is a light dependent resistor. And this is our sensor in this night light or intro shield. So I do that by putting them in here and then flipping it over and letting the LDR hang down at about the same height as these pins. While he's just hanging there, I trim the leads. And then I solder him in place. Okay, and now it's stuck like this, and we just want to bend it up slightly so that it's at a 45 degree angle with the board. And the reason we want to put this LDR in this orientation is because this light sensor interacts with this light. And so we don't want the light being on or this night light being on or this LD or LED being on to affect what the sensor detects. So now that it's all soldered together, we just plug it in to the Arduino like this and the LDR will stick out. The LED will be on top and the button is like this. So that's our finished shield. And now we can go on to do the other programming videos.